As a boy, my heroes were cowboys, strong-willed men who knew just what was right. They didn't need lawyers or judges to tell them what was fair. Justice was served, no questions asked, no answers sought. God, how I admired them. And God, how I wanted to grow up to be just like them. What? Well, I wasn't about to say anything, but since you brought it up, you're eating too fast, you're eating too slow. Chew your food, eat with your mouth closed. Don't breathe so hard through your nose. Don't chew your food so My much. My wife, Heloise, be enjoyed, we've been married for processed. six years. But what enjoyment is there in this? You call this Notice a meal? I didn't say six this is happy a years. In a fine restaurant. This is slop. Don't it was not an oversight. You're using the wrong spoon. Put the right spoon not on this table. Why is the right spoon not on this table? We only have the right spoon in this house. We don't have anything in this house. If you bring home a proper raisin, say that milk, pickles, you expect us to live on you. Heloise is dead now. And my life has changed. Oh, please. I mean, really. You think women like that would be swooning over someone like me? It wasn't a sex thing. With Heloise, it never was a sex thing. Not even on our wedding night. Let's get one thing perfectly clear. I think this whole sex thing is overrated. Personally, I'd rather get a good night's sleep. Six years of Heloise had managed to crush whatever sex drive I may have possessed. But that wasn't why I wanted to get rid of her. In six years, one learns to accept uh, abstinence, perhaps even embrace it. The truth is, things had gotten to the point that I could not stand Heloise. I couldn't stand her hairstyle, couldn't stand her perfume, couldn't stand her clothes. I couldn't stand her presence. I could no longer be around the woman. I thought about divorce. 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 You know, the key is, is that we're going to have to prove grounds. Otherwise, she's going to take you for everything. See, grounds for divorce. She adulterous? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. Hmm. Substance abuser? No. Alcoholic? No. Grounds for divorce. Yeah. Grounds for divorce. Let's see. Is she accusive? No. Admissive? No. Elusive? No. And a convulsive? No. Apprehensive? No. Aversive? No. I sought spiritual guidance. Matrimony is a lifetime vow. I could never advise you to walk away from it. Though, I must admit, I find your wife to be a daily reminder of the joy of celibacy. Elusive? No. Immunosuppressive? No. Impassive? No. Implosive? No. 
impulsive. No. I even went so far as to try to talk to Heloise about our problems. So, what do you think? Recursive. No. Regressive? No. Repercussive? No. Responsive? No. Repressive? No. Regurgitative? No. Retrocessive? What was that last one? Retrocessive? No. <sighs> Sanctionative? No. Submersive? No. I was beginning to realize the hopelessness of the situation. I was trapped. Zygomotive? No. Zymogenitive? No. Zymoplastive? No. Zygzamo vando conductive? No. You know, it would appear to me that your legal recourse in this matter is somewhat limited. You're pretty much screwed. I was so desperate, I even thought about suicide. Mrs. Wembley? Yes. Mrs. George Wembley? Yes. Mrs. George H. Wembley? Yes, yes, what is it? I'm from the Imperial Insurance Company, and I'm here to present you with George's life insurance check for... $1.8 million! <laughs> For some reason, I didn't think my dying was going to make the point I wanted. I was out of options. Because no matter how trapped I felt, I never, never thought about killing Heloise. And I never would have if it hadn't been for Mrs. Claus. to the point where you just couldn't stand somebody anymore, not even for a second. Well, I did this morning, and I snapped. You know, I meant why are you dressed up like Santa and Mrs. Claus in the middle of July? Oh, it was just a Christmas in July promotion at Chilton's Hardware. Ed hired us. Oh, yeah? They got a good price on any hedge trimmers? How in the hell should I know? Just thought I'd ask. You understand me, don't you? I no longer had a choice. I no longer had a choice. That's how it starts. A chance remark lights the fire. The trial of husband slayer Elaine McCarson took a surprising turn today when the jury ruled that she was justified when she chopped up her husband with an ax. After returning the not guilty verdict, one juror was heard to remark, it's not so surprising that the wife did it, only that she didn't do it sooner. A spouse can only take so much. Reporting live from the courthouse, I'm Kathy Penders. In business news, stocks rose higher today in heavy trading, fueled by the latest unemployment figures. We'll be back. The fire begins to grow. So how long has your husband been gone? About two years. He just went and out of the clear blue? Yeah, something like that. Oh, for crying out loud. 
Someone take care of this, please. What would have happened if your husband hadn't left you? I wouldn't be here. I'd be dead or in jail because by now one of us would have killed the other. We just couldn't stand each other anymore. And then it happens. Suddenly the unacceptable is acceptable. The deviation becomes the norm. The insane becomes rational. Anything, anything can be justified. They will see you now. I should caution you, whatever you do, do not say anything about murder or killing. The Bartlett brothers are a bit, well, paranoid is hardly the proper word to use here. Are you trying to tell me that they are marching to a different drummer than the rest of us? Quite frankly, sir, it is my belief they aren't even on the same parade route. This way, please. This gentleman is here to see you about getting rid of his <clears throat> mattress. So, you want to get rid of your mattress? Uh, yes. I heard you might be the people to get rid of her. <clears throat> it. Get rid of it. How long have you been with this particular mattress? Six years. Six years is a long time for one mattress. Still, there's plenty of sleep left in it, even if it has become a bit lumpy. Why get rid of it now? It's kind of hard to explain. Tricky business getting rid of a mattress. It's not so much getting rid of it, it's properly disposing of it afterwards. You don't want it popping up under your blankets two or three years later. So, you can do it. We can do it. I realized I was going to have to do this myself. My first problem was what to do with the body. What you doing, Mr. Wembley? Digging a hole, Mr. Wembley. Looks like you're digging a grave, Mr. Wembley. You're digging a grave, Mr. Wembley. Looks about the size of your voice, Mr. Wembley. I'll bet he's gonna kill the old battle axe and bury her in the backyard. Don't kill all Alex, Mr. Wembley. I had to figure out something else.
What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. You're looking particularly lovely tonight, dear. You are so weird. I just brought you some towels, dear. Set them down and get out. Sorry, dear. It was an accident. What are you doing? Nothing. Just... Uh, just going out to chop some kindling. <laughs> In the middle of the night? Well, you can never have too much kindling. You know, you ought to be chasing down whoever stole our mattress, you worthless excuse for a police officer. The reality of the matter hit me hard between the eyes. I simply was not man enough to murder my spouse. It was hopeless. Until my partner gave me a tip. You didn't get this from me. It's a business card. Take your wife there, or to the house special, while your troubles will be taken care of. Oh. Be sure and bring a credit card with lots of available credit. <laughs> the waitress will be with you in just a moment. What is this place? This is absolutely the last time I'll let you pick the place to eat. You always pick loser places to go with your loser mentality. Good evening. My name is Rachel and I will be your waitress this evening. Tonight we are featuring a Cajun chicken. Egg. We'll have the house special. Very good, sir. Like that, it was done. The moment the words were out of my mouth, I was sick to my stomach. I was sure I had just made the worst mistake of my life. However, Heloise quickly removed any doubts I might have had. Wait a minute. You're ordering without a menu? What an idiot. How do you even know I'll like the house special? I don't even know what it is. Trust me, madam. I think you'll find it most interesting. And I believe you made a very wise choice, if I may say so myself. Well, great. I suppose we're stuck with your idiotic choice now. What kind of fresh food hell have you picked out for us anyway? Stop her. We didn't order this. You can't afford this. It's quite all right, madam. It's compliments of the house. What is this? One of those police graph things? Excuse me, are you Heloise Wimbley? Yes. There's a telephone call for you. For me? But who even knew we were eating here? I'm sure you must have told someone. If you could follow me, please. This way, madam. But there's a phone right over there. Unfortunately, it's broken. You'll need to use the business phone. And just like that, it was over. What are you, who? You were having a meal with a woman, and you're still having a meal with a woman. No one here will ever notice that it's a different woman. 
I hadn't thought of that. These are all witnesses. Keep calm, and there will be nothing for them to remember. What's this? Not here. It gives you everything. Your cover story, why your wife left you, where she is now, the works. Just in case anyone asks questions. Questions? Oh my God, I'm going to jail. Will you relax? It's all been taken care of. I think I should call this whole thing off. No, we're just a couple having a nice meal. And that's what we were. I don't remember much about the rest of that evening, but somehow I got through it. Finally, the longest meal of my life was over. I remember the credit card charge was huge, but I couldn't tell you what it was. I just wanted to get out of that place and be left alone. And that was pretty much it. A couple people asked questions about Heloise's disappearance, but my cover story held. Heloise was not a very well-liked person and she was not really missed. I should be delighted at how things turned out, and I would be, except for one thing. It happened as I was leaving the restaurant, heading for my car. Is everything okay? Fine. You have to relax. It's all over now. I don't smoke. I just want to go home. Did you enjoy your meal? I don't know. Didn't have much appetite. <laughs> That's too bad. It's the specialty of the house. They call it Alfredo Halloween. 